Jay Vine has gone from zero to hero at the Tour Down Under. Three years ago, he was refused a place to participate. Now, he's won Australia's World Tour stage race. Yesterday, after six days of racing, the Aussie of UAE Team Emirates claim victory in the first World Tour race of the season ahead of Simon Yates and Pelo Bilbao. The 2023 edition was the first year back after cancellations due to COVID. In the last edition held in 2020, the local national team had refused Jay Vine a spot to race. This year, in his first participation, he came to the race as UAE's new star rider, joining a squad that includes Tade Pokachar, two-time Tour de France winner. UAE Team Emirates signed him this offseason, getting him out of his contract with Team Alpeson after he'd won two hard-fought mountain stages at the Vuelta España. You'll remember his name as he was a Zwift Virtual Academy winner, earning him a spot on Team Alpeson. In his first race with the team, he went on to play second overall in the Tour of Turkey. UA is heavily focused on winning the Tour de France for a third time with Tade Pogacar, and the team also includes star riders like Adam Yates and Brandon McNulty, and clearly they see huge potential in Jay Vine. I don't think the Tour Down Under is an accurate representation of Grand Tour form, but you know what? You never know, he said when asked about being a Grand Tour contender. I'm only just at the start to build from my year, so we'll see what happens. He added, there's plenty more fun to come.